What's up guys, it's your boy Demone, aka Demotivational on Twitch, and welcome to another Monster Hunter World video. Today's video is gonna be fast, but the topic and the title of the conversation is what in the hell is Elder Seal? So when I first started going through and uh, looking at equipment, you know, as I was trying to craft my stuff and, you know, get my stuff rolling, I seen this stuff was like, yo, Elder Seal, right? I was like fighting Elder Dragons. That means that this this must mean that it just kills them, right? You just shoot them one time, they blow up, boom, done, and they're dead, right? But that's not how it works, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but I do have to tell you guys, I know there's a lot of confusing things like in the game, especially like if you're new to Monster Hunter, pretty much the new Monster Hunter series like myself. Um, but as I continue to learn things, I, I'm learning how to make my character more effective in combat. And one of those things in question is Elder Seal. So if you guys are, are in a point of the game where you guys are starting to get weapons that have Elder Seal on them, understand that they are very, very effective, and they will be very effective later on uh, if you guys haven't started fighting Elder Dragons, and they're very effective for Elder Dragons in general. So let's talk about what Elder Seal weapons do right now. So basically there are three levels, okay? There's low, medium, and high. And when you look at low, medium, and high, it just tells you how effective that particular Elder Seal quality that that, that particular weapon has. Generally speaking, uh, the Nur, Nur Gigante... Did I say that right? Nergalicious? <laughs> Nergi? Um, in general, Nergi's weapons are all really pretty high in Elder Seal. Now, let me tell you what Elder Seal does. Now, like I said, based on the actual level of it, will determine how effective your particular weapon is. But when fighting specific bosses, they have a specific effect. So when you're fighting Kirin, the little lightning pony, uh, it reduces the level of its enraged lightning phase, uh, which hardens its skin. So it basically makes them a little bit more fragile, and you have to deal with the lightning aura a little less. For Teostra, uh, the fire <laughs> chimera, <laughs> I was going to call him Rakan. I'm um, thinking of this other game I played, Summoner's War. Uh, but it reduces the flame and blast ores, which, which prevents long-range weapons from penetrating. Uh, Elder Seal will also prevent Teostra from using its very powerful move, Supernova. And you guys know just how annoying that Supernova move is every time you've probably been blown up by it. Okay? For Kushala Daora, um, the steel, the steel dragon, dragon of steel, reduces its wind aura, which knocks hunters back. Okay? And prevents long-range weapons from penetrating, right? So you get rid of all of that. And then, of course, from my boy Vail, so that's exactly what I'm farming right now, it reduces the amount of uh, effluvium it expels, which also reduces its attack power, okay? So, again, like, Elder Steel weapons basically close that up. So, for me right now, I'm fighting Vale, and every time I shoot that dude, he, he breathes his little, he you know, he hits his vape, and the smoke comes out, and then I shoot him, and the smoke goes away, <laughs> all right? So, same thing with the rest of them. For Daora, if you're trying to put the windstorms away. For Teostra, if you're trying to put the fire away, um, and reduce the particular dragon's effectiveness, that's what Elder Seal weapons can do for you. So if you guys aren't using Elder Seal weapons and you guys are farming those particular dragons, um, I would definitely look into it because it could be very beneficial in helping you um, combat these guys in a more effective way, making your life a hell of a lot easier. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today was Elder Seal. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely know in the comment box below. And again, thank y'all for tuning in, and we'll see y'all on the next video.